Hi, hello. My name is Carla. I am Skeletor and welcome to my video. So, first things first, is preparing for Inktober cheating? Spoiler alert, no. And I just want to start by saying that this video isn't going to be about anything surrounding the whole issue of Jake Parker and what happened with that. But I will suggest that you go and look into that yourselves if you don't know anything about it. So as you can see, I've started with the sketch process in this video. But I thought it'd be interesting for you to see the initial concept of what I wanted to do. And although I'm not doing the official Inktober prompt list, I am following a prompt list called Plastober by an artist under the username plastic.pen on Instagram. He tends to do a lot of really cool sort of tech illustrations, a mixture of tech and nature, and he does a lot of isometric drawings which I really really enjoy because I myself like doing isometric drawings as you can see on the screen. The main reason I decided to do the Plastoba prompt list was because of the guidelines that he'd given regarding the list. And notice that I didn't say rules because his main rule is actually that there are no rules. He's made sure to explicitly state that you can do this challenge in any way that you want. So there's no pressure to do ink drawings for every day of October. And I think the best bit about it is the fact that he split the month up into four weekly themes. October starts in the middle of the week, so for those first, I think, four days, he's used them as warm-up days. So he has given a prompt for every single day, but for each of the weeks, he's given an overarching theme. So instead of doing a piece of art every single day, I've decided to do one per week. So I've taken the first week where the theme is Nature Strikes Back and I've picked one of the prompts within that week. So I've picked the ninth prompt which is Fox, which you may have already noticed. So I thought this was a really good excuse to sort of talk about the whole stigma around Inktober and prompt lists of October in general because I feel like a lot of younger artists and artists like myself where up until participating in an Inktober prompt list I never really shared my art anywhere and even though I did take part it took quite a few days for me to actually take the plunge and say you know what I'm gonna do it this time because every year you hear about it and it's a massive thing in the artist community and it's really cool to see other people take part see what they come up with with the exact same prompts they automatically think about what i would do if i were taking part two and the main reason that put me off and i imagine quite a lot of other people off is the rules because you are supposed to do a full ink traditional drawing from scratch every day of the month and even if you scrap those rules do whatever you want take part in the inktober prompt list or someone else's prompt list the pressure is always there of having to complete one full artwork every single day of october and yeah of course inktober didn't start as being this whole big community thing. It started as one guy wanted to challenge himself to improve his ink skills. And there's no way he could have known how big it was going to blow up in the art community. And I'm really, really glad that it did because it's created such a warm and welcoming space for such a fun time of the year. People look forward to this all year. But at the same time, it also creates a massive amount of stress for a lot of people. The first year that I took part in Inktober, which was 2018, I think I started on maybe the fifth or sixth day of the month. And I started off sketching in pencil and then using fine liners to line it and kept them black and white just like that. And I still like the majority of them today. 
and I genuinely did start them from scratch and finish them within that same day. And I did it. I got every single one done from when I started within that night, which I didn't really have a lot of free time to do them, but I pushed on the pressure of wanting to get them up that same day kept me doing them but this is one of the main issues I have with Inktober because this shouldn't be a stressful time to make art it should be a fun one and I think the main reason I didn't want to start with the official Inktober prompts list was because I was worried of being called out by other people if I did decide to do digital because as a new artist online I genuinely thought people would care if I didn't do what you were supposed to do which didn't make sense because I couldn't care less how other people decided to do Inktober I was just always blown away by whatever they did end up doing and I never ever saw anyone come for anyone else so I really don't know why I was so scared of it happening to me but then again if I did feel that way in the first place surely I'm not the only one and this might be putting other artists off taking part the other issue is the time the fact that you're expected to create a full-blown art piece from start to finish within one day every single day for the whole of October is ridiculous and yeah in my first year of doing it that is exactly what I was doing but what you end up with or at least in my case is a lot of art pieces that are terrible or at least they are to me and mainly that is due to me and my issue with my eyes being greedier than my belly in the fact that I like to bite off more than I can chew. So the big key to actually finishing Inktober is to make sure your ideas from the prompts are small. Keep things small, simple. Don't do what I do and create massive scenes in my head with multiple characters on a fully fleshed out house to set them in. So last year, I took part in Inktober again, but I still didn't do the official Inktober prompt list. But I decided in advance that I would prepare, and the way that I wanted to prepare was to finish some of the prompts well in advance of the 1st of October. And it started off great. I can't quite remember how many I did finish before the start of October, but I had quite a few which completely took the pressure off of getting something done within that day. It gave me a few days on each piece, which meant that I was a lot happier with the final result. That being said, time quickly caught up with me and it ended up with me actually skipping quite a few days towards the end, just to finish on time. I did end up choosing ones to skip rather than having X amount right at the end. I skipped quite a few here and there prompts that didn't really inspire me as much as the other ones and overall it worked out better for me. However, I still ended up with quite a lot of pieces that I'm still not happy with today. And maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm not cut out for finishing and uploading a piece every single day. But I must admit, even if I'm not happy with a lot of my artworks, it did really, really improve my workflow, especially in 2019, where I did do a full digital Inktober. And it just helped the whole process, the, the sketch, the line art, the colouring, and all the bits in between and after. And I do think it helped improve my skills massively. Which is the whole point. The whole point of Inktober is to get you used to drawing and being comfortable 
drawing with ink every single day just because I've done it digitally doesn't take away the improvement that I've made. I think the most telling bit about it was both years that I've done Inktober. The artist whose prompt list that I've used, both of them couldn't finish their own prompt list, either from stress or lack of time in order to complete every single prompt for every single day. And it can't be a coincidence that now, after all the controversy, I've seen a lot more artists come out with prompt lists that are either half the original amount, they've done 15 prompts instead of 31, or they've split it up like the one that I'm using. Now I've seen a lot of artists come out and say they want to create a less stressful Inktober for people to follow. They want more people to join and people to feel that it's not a chore in order to create artwork for this challenge. I mean, yes, the origin of Inktober is to challenge yourself into drawing start to finish every single day. But I think the majority of people can agree with me that the whole purpose of Inktober has changed. The majority of the art community use Inktober as a way to join in together it's definitely more of a community thing rather than a challenge in and of itself. And I think that's far better than the rules and stigma that surround the official Inktober prompt list. So this video is showing my first drawing of Plastober and I've actually started and finished this weeks before I intend to post it. Partly that's because I wanted to sort of include it within these videos. I thought it would be interesting to talk about this issue. But also because I want to be really proud of the art that I produce. I don't want to rush things. If I come up with an art concept based on someone else's prompt, I want to put the time and effort into creating an artwork that I'm really proud of and want to show off to people. I mean sure, you or anyone else might not like my art, but I need to ensure that I like my art and that I'm proud to show it to others. And of course, I want everybody else to like it too, but that's not the point. The artist behind Plastober has also already started planning his artworks in advance. Although he isn't starting the finishing processes of lining, colouring and all the finishing touches of his artwork, he is doing the planning stages way before October starts. I'm really really glad that he's showing it because it assures all of his followers that it is okay, it is okay to plan ahead, it is okay to prepare your sketches and it is okay to start on them before October starts. Long story short, if you want to prepare and even complete your October prompts in advance, please go ahead. The importance of you enjoying the process and being proud of your own artwork is far greater than the challenge of doing a prompt start to finish within one day using just ink. I really hope you like my finished piece. I'm really proud of it and I'm really glad I've taken this approach this year to achieve the results that I want. Jasper says hi again and I want to thank you so much for watching and hopefully you'll stick around for the next one. Ta-ra!